Ginkgo Bioworks claims that cost-cutting measures through the mass layoff may not be enough or, you know, may not be um, sufficient to cut its costs in Form 10-Q filed with SEC. I mean, what else do we need to hear from Ginkgo Bioworks and Jason Kelly at this point to know that they're obviously, as it's mentioned all throughout the SEC statement and the, or the, you know, the, the Form 10-Q that they filed with the SEC, like Ginkgo Bioworks has to file like every quarter before their financial report or their quarterly update, that there's a lot of intense competition in synthetic biology, not just within the United States, but obviously internationally. And I think that it's funny that Jason Kelly, he compares like foundries that are given by synthetic that, you know, they're supposed to run and increase the throughput and automate synthetic biology workflows to, you know, more mundane factories like chip fabs that NVIDIA uses or other types of large scale fabrication facilities like a Giga factory, because why would anyone want there to be more foundries like Ginkgo Bioworks when the one foundry that they've been operating for like 15 years hasn't even reached profitability yet? It's a completely different case and scenario if some company has to burn on the order of billions of dollars. Like Elon Musk says that when he brings Giga factories online for Tesla and he has new personnel work in these factories, they have to optimize certain machinery in the placement of robotics within the factory that will help them be able to produce cars more quickly for delivery for customers. But it's a completely different situation if you're more in the case like Ginkgo Bioworks where this foundry or this large scale automation facility with robotics hasn't even broken even at all. So I really think that that's another detail and aspect of the 10Q filing from the form from the filing with the SEC uh, that Ginkgo Bioworks, they really draw poor attention of the public and investors and consumers to because if you're looking at all of these risks and really how Ginkgo Bioworks has to come to terms with the forward looking statements and uncertainties that it's talking about with regards to synthetic biology, it really shows from their SEC statements that they don't really have as much confidence as they have when Jason Kelly's giving all these public events and professing about how he strongly believes synthetic biology will make a positive contribution to the biotech space.